Um, is someone making the safety calls? How are you guys feeling? Very good. <laughs> Risking not only our planet with catastrophic climate change, uh, but the lives of my neighbors and our communities throughout our region and our country with uh, these dangerous exploding trains that they're bringing uh, into this refinery and other facilities, um, which have been shown to explode and, de and destroy communities. And, um, you know, with the derailment in Seattle last week, it's the last straw and it's time for an immediate halt to these trains uh, coming through our communities in the Northwest and around the country. So, oh, yeah. I'm here. Thank okay, you. I'm Jan. I'm a Raging Grammy from Anacortes. We uh, are here today because our elected officials are not listening to the people that elected them. We don't want these bomb trains coming through our neighborhoods. The phrase, it seems to me, that this, these corporations are practicing industrial bomb. They know um, these trains explode. Um, and they choose to run them to our communities anyway. Why sure well, here? Um, well, yeah. it, you know, we had a derailment last week of one of this refinery's oil trains in Seattle. We were fortunate that it was going only five miles an hour and didn't blow up the way it did in Quebec. But um, it's it's just an accident, not not just an accident, a catastrophe waiting to happen. It is not if, it's when. As long as they keep running these things, it, it will happen. Um, so this kind of precipitated this, and to Soro particularly, um, in part because they um, are the ones planning the gigantic new oil facility in Vancouver that's going to make, you know, Washington the capital of, you know, horrible uh, Bakken shale crew uh, of the world, <laughs> which is the last thing we want for our beautiful Fighting for the future, we shall not be moved just like a tree planted by the water. We shall not be moved. Pollution and exploitation will not be solved by corporations that's bogus. Get off it! The future sound is not for profit. Pollution and exploitation will not be solved by corporations that's bogus. Get off it! Folks are locked to concrete barrels, so they're in a somewhat precarious position. Obviously, a train would really do them great injury. Attempting to move the barrels would be extremely difficult and probably result in a serious injury. So, what's the plan? We want to end the What's your legal name? Legal name. And what's your last name? Uh, do you have a cell phone number or anything? Okay. So, you got a name, or they're probably expecting okay. you. I don't, I guess I would assume they're expecting a call. Yeah, that's. Um, so, the photo that we've been provided is um, San Antonio, which is, the, which is the organization that you are essentially protesting. And so, obviously, uh, they're not going it, to. Would it be timely to send someone physically here? Okay, So, um, that's where the phone number came. So, you can actually talk to the people that have the ability to make change and make the decisions um, so I'm trying to help remedy this um, and I understand you want to be heard um, this is a this is where you have to be heard um, in order to make that change the security manager can't make the change I certainly can't make the change um, but what you're asking for is for change and this is where that has to occur
getting to a point where they, they're not even sure they believe. Like, I'm assuming somebody is in charge, even if it's essentially an operational manager and not somebody who knows the sequence of the policy. Because we, we were handed this phone number, we don't know who it is, or, you know, it's a, a Texas phone number, but we don't know if, if that would just be a phone call to a PR person or to an actual decision maker. Yeah, I'm not sure. And so... So let's say you guys want to talk to someone from, or find yeah, someone else. Yeah, somebody who has some kind of decision maker. She's right there. I'll uh, put you on speaker real quick. But other than that, once no time frame right now at this point. I don't think so. As far as I'm okay. Are you guys prepared to go through the night and stuff, or? I <laughs> yeah. I'll personally stay here as long as there's people doing this, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, leave. So. Can you please collect your things and move along? Okay, I've done the best that I could to try to give you your voice, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, uh, that's not going to happen. I, I don't have any other way to remedy this at, that, at this point. Okay. Okay. So, please start working on getting your stuff. So, members of the media, I'm going to ask that you guys uh, head down. These folks are being trespassed, and I know that's not what your intent is. Here, you're here just trying to gather information, the story, all that. But we do need you to move down and out of the area. The road closed sign uh, is our area. This area is now going to be contained as part of this crime scene. So I need everybody to move beyond that. Okay? We're going to take our next step. So if everybody can just respectfully head down to out of the closed area, down that way would be great. I would appreciate it. said that their their sole tactic in this scenario is to wait. Yeah. No pain compliance, no torture. That's, that's what they said. That's what they said. That's their claim as of 1140 or whatever. Gas, it is. pepper that spray. Like that. They're, they're insisting that their sole, their sole measure in this situation is just going to be to wait and see what people unlock. No. <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go communicate with them. Sure, sure. Thanks. Thanks.